Hi, my name is Malcolm and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Pig Lab. Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. In this video, I'll be going through a past year examination question on the topic of body systems. I've also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So, let's get started. Question 15. Study the table below. Now they want us to find out which of the following here correctly shows us the parts labeled A, B, C, and D. So before we can even look at the options, let's try and figure out what parts A, B, C, and D are in the first place. Now first of all, let's take a look at part A. We can see that part A removes water from the undigested food. Now this is a function of which part of the digestive system? This is the function of the large intestine. So let's write this out. We know A must be the large intestine. Next, what about for B? If you look at B, you can see that it produces what? It produces digestive juices. Now remember, what do digestive juices help to do? They help to carry out what process? Digestion. So I'm going to write this out. It helps to carry out digestion. Now, remember which are the organs in the digestive system that can carry out digestion? They are the mouth, what else? Stomach and small intestine. But do we know what B is for sure? No. So let's take a look at C next. Now, if we take a look at C, we can see that it can produce digestive juices and it also passes food to the blood. Now, which organ is the one that will pass the digested food to the bloodstream? This is the function of the small intestine. So I'm going to write this out. We know C is the small intestine. Now what about for D? D is able to produce digestive juices. So this means that B and D must be able to carry out digestion. Now besides the small intestine, what are the two other organs that can carry out digestion? It is the mouth or the stomach. So we know B and D must either be the mouth or the stomach. So with this understanding, we can see which one of the following diagrams correctly labels the parts A, B, C, and D. So for option one, let's start with A first. Remember, A is supposed to be which organ? A is supposed to be the large intestine. So if you look at option one, did they label A as the large intestine? Yes, so option one is possible. What about for option two? For option 2, did they label A as the large intestine? No, instead they label A as the small intestine. Which means is option 2 possible? No, so let's cross it out. Next, what about option 3? Did they label A as the large intestine? Yes, so let's put a tick. And lastly, what about option 4? Did they label A as the large intestine? No, in option 4, they label A as which organ? They label A as the... Mouth, so we know 4 is definitely out, which means what options are we left with? We are left with options 1 and 3. Next, let's take a look at part C because we know C is definitely which organ? C is definitely the small intestine. So let's check option 1. Did they label C as the small intestine? Definitely. But what about option 3? Did they label C as the small intestine? No, instead they labeled C as the what? They labeled C as the mouth. So C is definitely wrong. So option 3 is out. Now based on this, what should be the only possible answer then? The correct answer should be option 1. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!